Namaste and welcome from Dhananjay Kumar in our joint effort to raise intelligent kids because they are the ones who will create future society and civilization. In this video I would like to talk about one of my favorite subjects which comes from my association in my childhood with my grandmother. She was not very educated, but very wise. She used to read stories and scriptures to me almost every day that I was with her. Even in school days, when she used to come and stay with us for summer vacations, she would read to me and particularly she drew my attention to the story of great men and women. Consequently, when I grew up, one of my favorite readings were biographies of great men and women and I probably have read maybe 50, 60 or 70 biographies. And what I have learned is that no matter in which situation you are, there is always a role model you can find and be inspired. And that's what it takes to do something meaningful, to achieve your vision, your goal. So I have put together a few examples that when you want to spread knowledge, you feel restless, you want to say something and you reach an environment where people are not familiar with it. So how do you put together your concept, your ideas to say, speak in a very amicable and kind and loving way? Then you will find role model Swami Vivekanand. If you want to do great things but lack the support, you come from, from a very meager background, family cannot provide you with all the resources that you can use to achieve your goal then Michael Faraday, the great scientist, can be your role model. From a book binder, he envisioned to be a scientist and became Today We Remember. So many of the names I am giving you will not be able to tell you the full stories, but you will search and learn from their biographies as I did. If you find or anyone finds physical limitations but you have a vision to go far, suppose you are like a young woman from India, Arunima Sinha. She was the first person ever to climb, climb Mount Everest with artificial leg. Just imagine people with two legs and all the resources and support and workers, trekkers. Very difficult to reach Mount Everest. But Arunima Sinha Arunima Sinha could be a role model. If you find that things around you are unfair, unjust, 
wrong things are happening, how to go about opposing it in a civil manner, then Mahatma Gandhi can be a role model, at least in this area of opposing an unjust environment. If you find that bad things have happened to you in your life, personal tragedies, unfortunate events, loss of loved ones. Madame Marie Curie can be your inspiration. She became a great scientist. If you find you are in an environment of discrimination among a class of people, there are injustices being done. How do we develop the patience and passion to oppose it? Learn from a role model, Nelson Mandela. If you are in a situation that you have bright ideas but people oppose it. People are not convinced. Even sometimes they make fun of you. How to be strong and firm and pursue your ideas and explain to the world. It may take years or decade, decades for people to understand and finally agree with you. Your role model is Albert Einstein. When you want to help others, but you are handicapped yourself, how do you develop the courage and the motivation that despite your own limitation, you are ready and willing and actually succeed to help others? A good role model is Helen Keller, Helen Keller, who was a deaf and blind herself, but she worked miracles. She was known as the miracle worker to help other children with handicaps. When you want to remove ignorance in society <coughs> and a lot of artificial differences of opinions. What do you do? And you have studied and you have contemplated and developed a knowledge base. How do you share it? How do you go around people, travel from one place to another, one part of the country to another? Your role model can be Adi Shankara who walked for thousands of miles, went from village to village, met people, discussed with them and spread deep knowledge, spiritual knowledge. <coughs> when you have great ideas but don't have resources, you have great ideas but the economic system, economic ecosystem around you is opposing you. Your inventions are not being implemented. What do you do? Do you give up or be inspired by a great scientist, today even known as great scientist, Nikola Tesla? If you want to help children suffering from birth, they are born with heart disease. A very good role model could be a singer, artist, concert artist, performer, Palak Muchal, who donated earnings from her concerts for heart surgeries of children. From last count, I know, 
more than 3,000 children's heart surgeries she supported, saved their lives. So these are only some of the wonderful examples, no matter in which situation you find yourself. There are others in the same or similar situation who have the guts, develop courage, motivation to do something because doing that is the goal of their life. So I hope you will feel inspired and study the biographies of great men and women and you will always find something that you can incorporate in your personality and move beyond. Small step becomes giant leap for mankind. Like when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, changed the whole world, the vision, the adventure in space. That was the beginning. So thank you for listening. Tell more stories to children, explain to them, inspire them. They will remember it and be thankful to you. Namaste. See you again soon.